Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, land to the fans here once again. Well, not once again, because I've never done this before. Uh, but I'm going to talk about yesterday's Nintendo Direct, because I kind of want to do these, where I talk about the Directs, because I think they're fun, and it gives me time to, like, talk about stuff that I like. So I figured, why not? Yesterday, as you may or may not know, was the first Direct we've had since April 1st. I, I don't count the E3 one, because it, it technically doesn't count for me. Uh... I know it's not really a big deal, but, you know, I'm trying to get out here. But, like, tensions were high. We were hyped after the last Direct for E3, if we count that. To say the least, was not very good. So, everybody was like, oh shit, we have a new Direct, and it's gonna be hype. And then we got it, and this is where this video is gonna start. So, let's start off where the Direct started off with the reveal of Twilight Princess HD. <sighs> That already that already shows how I feel about this. It really does. Basically, they set up immediately. You see Reggie on the screen, and he's like, "Yo, it's Reggie." Uh, basically, uh, here's Twilight Princess. It's getting an HD remaster. It, 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 yeah, it basically is a remaster because it doesn't really look like a remake. But basically, they announced Twilight Princess HD, and for me, I'll say this here: if you follow me on Twitter. All of these rumors and leaks, you know, I'm not very happy about it. Because, one, Twilight Princess, I think it's pretty... It's decent at best. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. But, I just don't see why... Like, I'll be honest here. Out of all these Zelda games, I will say this. It needed a remake the most. But, the reason it pisses me off is the fact that... We have had so many HD remasters or remakes or re we'll just say remakes in general for zelda games this gen with you know ocarina of time 3d majora's mask 3d wind waker uh i don't count link between worlds but it basically is just linked to the past too it literally is just linked to the past to be fair but with a few different you know things but uh, basically we have had so much of that this generation and i just don't think we don't need another Zelda remaster, like, just give me Zelda U, that I'm happy for that, but I just don't see a point to having this, because if you go, I'll, I'll probably put footage up of it, what is the point of having this, because, I'm sure I want to put this, the game looks just like the other, like, the original, but the only difference is they probably, cl they clean the moss off of it, and I was in a call with, uh, Philip, Richie, and some other friends, and Philip brought up a good point with this. It real legit looks like they took Minna and Zant's models from Hyrule Warriors and just thrown them into this, so they're cleaner. And to be honest with you here, it does look like it, like exactly. But besides that, the fact the only thing that really looks like got changed is they threw an HD filter, of course. The game looks lighter, and they fit, they did clean up the textures a little bit because that's one of the best thing about Twilight Princess or the original GameCube and Wii. Is the textures in that game look rough, like super rough. Like Skyward Sword, it looks a little bit better, and the textures in this game are still rough. But Twilight Princess, because of how dark it is, has not aged well if you compare it to like other we can say like Galaxy or Colors. But to be fair though, with a game like that, comparing it to like Colors and stuff, Twilight Princess was trying to go for a more realistic style. And that sounds hard to say when you're playing a Zelda game, but... And then you have, like, Galaxy and Colors, which are darker. Uh, let's just say, like, No More Heroes, I guess. It's kind of more realistic. No More Heroes still looks better, even though it, it kind of is rough around the edge. But that's a Wii game, so I have to expect that. Um, but honestly, I'm just, I'm not excited for Black Princess HD, because they mention, like, oh, we have a big change! And what is it? It's an Amiibo. And as I've said before, I'm not a fan of Amiibos, even though I do buy them, because I'm an idiot. People who buy memes aren't idiots. I'm saying I'm an idiot because I hate them and then I buy them. But, basically, they announced that and I'm just, I'm not excited for Twilight Princess HD. I bought Wind Waker HD and it had like two to three differences, but that's, I only bought that because I like Wind Waker and my copy of the GameCube version just doesn't work anymore. But, um, if you like Twilight Princess, I guess that's cool, but I just, I, here's the thing. My Twilight Princess copy doesn't work anymore either. So, I will have to get this, but I'm waiting for a price drop, even though that's going to take forever, because this is Nintendo, and they never do fucking price drops, unless it's Black Friday, but, um, speaking of which, if you are watching this, you can get Mario Party 10 and Splatoon for $25 on Black Friday, 
And if you're an Animal Crossing fan, you can get New Leaf for $15. I'm like, I just feel like I should say that because I'm going to get New Leaf. But I just, I don't have an interest in Todd Princess HD. If you do, that's fine, but it's not my thing. The Wolf, the Wolf Link Amiibo. Also, I'm not a fan of the Wolf Link, but the Wolf Link with Min Amiibo looks sick as shit. I kind of hope they sell that separately because if they do, I will buy that. But if I do get Todd Princess HD, I'll probably get it anyway, but you know. It's, it's a thing. They did show Zelda U right after that for like two seconds. No, not even two seconds. Probably 13. I think somebody actually counted that. And Flip Rodiger and Joke Mirror, the Skype call, he's like, well, there's your Zelda Wii U for the year, guys, or something like that. And I thought it was really funny. But I just, I, it was cool to see, but I wanted to see actual gameplay, and we still don't have a name for it. But, I mean, it's nice to see, but guys, just, can we have an update where it's at? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm hyped for Zelda U, but. I just, I want something new. Speaking of more new Zelda, I guess. Uh, they showed off the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Uh, they announced that it's getting an update with the Dens, with the Denim Trials. I think it's like 8 floors? Or maybe it's, th no, I think they said maybe even 30 floors. For like a trial. So basically it's like a dungeon crawl. Um, I don't own Triforce Heroes. Have no interest in it because I can't play online with the people I want to. And honestly, I think the game looks really bland to begin with. Uh, it's nice they're giving you a free update, which is, I think, super cool. Because, I mean, if you already bought it, you want to pay for more DLC. So they're giving you, like, more costume. Like, you actually get the Fierce Deity costume, which I missed the first time when I, wa when I watched it. Which is really neat. It's going to be OP as fuck from what I'm saying. Cause it's the fucking Fierce Deity costume. It's always OP in anything. But, you know, it looks interesting. And if, you, if Twilight, or not Twilight, <laughs> If Triforce Heroes interests you, then there you go. It's just not for me. Up next, they show Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. I, Tim is going to get pissed at me for this, but... Uh, it, it's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I never thought it was interesting. Uh, you can shoot... I don't know if it's true, but I haven't kept, like, any... I don't know anything about this game, but I know you can choose from 20 Pokemon. That's cool. You gotta find a Pokemon Turn to Stone. That's a thing. If you like Mystery Dungeon, then this is for you... I guess, uh, so yeah, give it a shot, I guess. Up next, they showed a Splatoon update. Basically, Splatoon's getting a new map. Funny thing, yes, it's actually got leaked, like, that day. I will say this. I am not the biggest fan of Splatoon. I honestly think it looks just kinda... It plays me. Like, I love the campaign, and the multiplayer is alright, but I got really bored with it. This new map looks pretty sick, actually. Like, I, I haven't played Splatoon in a couple of months, but I will actually play this new map. I, I think it's like a museum. I can't really actually remember the name. I can go on Twitter uh, and look really quickly while I'm talking and totally not stealing for time. Um, but basically, if you like Splatoon, here's a new map. I guess it's cool. Like, at least you don't have to pay for it, which I, I'm a fan of, because if I had to pay for it, I would not be happy. Okay, I found it. Um, basically, the new map is Museum de Alfonsino. I'm sorry if I pronounced that terribly. I am not good at pronouncing things, as you can probably tell. Uh, but yeah, it looked cool. If you like Splatoon, give it a shot. Up next is Super Mario Maker. Uh, basically, it's getting an update with uh, checkpoints and shop people wanted. I don't own Mario Maker, so I can only say it's just checkpoints, and I think DLC is coming sometime in the future. So if you own Mario Maker, that's for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's not much I can really say Mario Maker and Splatoon updates, because there's nothing really big about it. Um, up next is Mar. Oh, no. Up next is Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. I think that actually came out today. Actually, yeah, I think it actually did. Uh, it's Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. What can I really say? Like, I've I've said so much about it before in videos, but basically, the game came out today. If you want to play a Mario Party game with Amiibos, with Animal Crossing characters, get that. But if I were you, I'm just saying, just buy Mario Party 2. It's a better deal. I don't know. Uh, but uh, up next is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. It's Mario Tennis. It, I'll give it this. Gameplay-wise, I think it looks fun. But I'm not going to pay 50 bucks for Mario Tennis. I'll wait for a price drop. But it's Mario Tennis. If you're interested in it, play it. But the, the character roster in that game is really pathetic. But it has Rosalina in it. And I like Rosalina. She's pretty cool. Uh, and it looks really fast-paced. Like, fast-paced than all the other games. So, and more, like, crazy. But I don't know. Uh, I'll probably get it when it's really cheap. But for now, I'll just... I'll wait. Comes out like December 4th, I think. Same day as the next game. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Game still looks really badass. I know it's gonna be long as crap, and I'll never actually finish it, but 
I, I'm really wanting to play it, mostly because, I mean, it's already out, like, in Japan and other places, but, like, for North America and, like, Europe, we want this game because it looks amazing, but, basically, it's the only X. I, I, legit, I have avoided spoilers for this because I, I do want to play it, and I know Richie is super hyped for it, and I won't get to play it until, like, uh, Christmas, but it looks really good. Up next, a Nintendo Badge Arcade. It's a free-to-play game where you can get badges for, like, your, uh, screen on your 3DS. The menu, there you go. Like I said, it's free-to-play. I have no interest in it. It's like a little crane game. It is funny how they kind of, like, guilt trip you to, like, buy, like, to, for microtransactions. I will give it that. That's actually really funny. But other than that, I no interest. Speaking of free-to-play, up next, Pokemon Pit Cross. It's Pokemon Pit Cross. If you know what Pit, blah, blah, blah. Pit Cross is, it's really not that interesting, I don't think. Uh, I've played it before, like, in the little, like, you know, using, like, the little, like, word, like, if, like, the word search books, there's one for Pit Cross, and I've played it, and it's really not that fun. At least I don't, but it, it's free to play, so if you like Pit Cross, give it a shot. I, I will download it, because I want to at least give it a chance, but I'm not paying for anything. Fuck that. Up next is uh, SteamWorld Heist. I honestly don't. I, I've heard about it, and I've seen footage, but I can't tell you a thing that happened in the trailer, so I'm going to skip that, because I'm very sorry. But, from what I saw from the footage, it looked fun. That's a thing. Up next is F-Zero. I, that's not right. It's Fast Racing Neo. Game still looks really sick. I will give it that. And basically, if you played it, it's basically just the HD F-Zero that runs in 60 frames per second. It looks sick as fuck, and I will totally give it a shot. And I'm not even an F-Zero fan, and I think it looks sick. The graphics look great, it looks fast, it literally just F-Zero, except not made by Nintendo. So if you like F-Zero, or your interesting fast racing games that are bullshit like Mario Kart, give it a shot. I stand up like a really terrible salesman there. Um, up next is Typo Man, it's just like a puzzle platformer. It kind of reminded me of Limbo a little bit, art design-wise. Uh, I, I, I have no interest. If I hear it's good, I might give it a shot. Um, up next, we got a little skit with Bill Trennan, the main man himself. He walks in a room, sees these donuts, and this little ghost flies into him, and Bill Trennan fucking tears the hell out of these donuts up. Reggie walks in. He doesn't say, Bill, you're fire, which I'm really sad, but that's a thing. Um... But then, basically, Bill eats his donuts, and then they show Yokai Watch. Yokai Watch, I am. It's already out, and I'm sure they're talking about it more. But they did it with talk, or they did it with Track Force Heroes. So I guess they just wanted to be like, "Oh, is it our last trick for the Christmas?" Or they actually, this is the last trick of the year. But I guess they wanted to help sell more copies of that. Yokai Watch, it, it has my interest. I still need to play the demo, but the battle system looks weird, so I kind of eh on it. But I don't know, if you think it looks fun, give it a shot. At least play the demo first, I will say that. But, yeah, Yokai Watch is interesting. I don't think it'd be like a new Pokemon, but, you know. I mean, it's like, Richie brought this up. It, tell me, it looks like a baby's first uh, Shin Megami Tensei a little bit, so. If you if you think it looks cool, give it a shot. I think it looks interesting, so I'll play the demo, but that's about it. Um, up next is a game I am looking very forward to, because I've been wanting it since it got announced for Japan Arcades. And that is Pokemon Tournament or Pokemon Fighter. I keep calling it Pokemon Fighter because I. It's called Pokemon Tournament for the US, but in Japan it's Pokemon Fighters. I never got that. Pokemon Tournament, basically, you don't know, it's like a fighting game for Pokemon made by. I think it's Namco Bandai. It makes Tekken and stuff. It looks so fucking sick. Oh my god. It just. If you haven't seen. Oh, okay, first. They showed. Like, it's been announced for a long time, but we actually got like a full trailer of it. Of uh, Shadow Mewtwo, which some people think it means we're gonna get a new Colosseum or Exe Gala Darkness sequel. Would be Exe Gala Darkness sequel? I don't know. Well, a game like that, which I wouldn't be opposed to, but I just don't think we're gonna get it. Um, but they showed Shadow Mewtwo, he like flies down with some anime girl for some reason, and then he flies down, he goes like mega. And a lot of people hate Shadow Mewtwo and his mega. I dig it, I, it looks dumb, but it. It's awesome, because there was a gif, and it wasn't in the trailer I saw, of, uh, I think it was a fight, I think it was Shadow Mewtwo, I think, versus Omega Gengar, and Shadow Mewtwo pulls some, like, Broly shit, and, like, flies over out into space over the earth, makes a giant fucking shadow ball, and throws it, and it's so badass, I mean, it's not in the trailer, but it's so kick-ass, like, I love it, 
But then they, they show like a me like a Lucario. He goes mega, and they go him and the Shadow Mutant run right, and just fucking punch each other. And it's intense. It was sick, and I loved that. I get really hyped over Pokemon. What can I say? But, uh, it, the Pokemon tournament looks so fun. I can't wait to have like Shadow Mewtwo fight Luchador. Uh, Pikachu. By the way, is Halucha announced for that game? I should probably look that. If Halucha is announced, that is a waste of uh, a, not taste. Uh, waste of I can't think of the name or word. If you think of it, tell me or I'll put it uh, in the video somewhere. I'm sure. But it looks good. I will definitely get that. I think they say it comes out in the spring 2016 for the Wii U, so I will definitely get that. And if you watch my videos and you have a Wii U and you get the game, we should totally play sometime, because that'd be awesome, because I'm looking for people to play games with, like Mario Kart or Smash or Splatoon. I don't know. But I will definitely get Pokemon, because it looks really good. Uh, up next is Star Fox Zero or Starfax, because I like John Tron. Uh, basically, Star Fox still looks really good. Graphically, I know it still looks kind of eh. But it's Star Fox. It's all I just I'm happy to do Star Fox game. It looks really fun still. Still nothing with Wolf, which I think is really shocking. You would think Wolf would be in the game, at least like show up in a trailer. Maybe he'll be in the game somewhere. But I, the game still looks really fun. I like all the different vehicles you can use and stuff. I will definitely get Star Fox Zero. It comes out on April 22nd, and I'll probably get that when it comes out because it looks sick. Up next is Mario Luigi Paper Jam, and I have a bone to pick with this, because everywhere but the U.S., I think North America, actually, in general, gets this game, I think, December. Fucking North America doesn't get it until, like, March or June. I'm like, what's up with that? Like, England fucking gets it for we do, and we speak the exact same language. The only difference is spelling with words. What's the big deal? I really don't get it, but that's just me. The game still looks kind of, it looks, like, it's a Mario and Luigi game. You know you're going to get a quality tire out of it. And with Paper Mario added, it, it definitely drives my interest. I love Paper Mario and all Mario and Luigi RPGs. But I still like the game from the Mario and Luigi aspect. It looks kind of bland. Because uh, maybe it's just where we haven't seen... Because we've only had, like, what, two to three trailers? I think actually we've only had one or two. I want to see more of it. That's my big thing. Uh, I, I'll give it a shot. Because, I mean, like I said, I love Paper Mario and I love Mario and Luigi. But it hasn't really, like, got that wow factor, like, uh, Bowser Inside Story, there where you can play as Bowser, Dream Team, with multiple Luigi's, because I'm one of the Luigi's. But, so far, nothing has really caught my interest. Like, I'll definitely give it a shot, but right now, I'm just like, it's a Mario Luigi game. I'll get it. Of course. Uh, but that's all I can really say about that. Uh, up next is Final Fantasy Explorers. I will give it this. I gave it some shit when I first looked at it, but after watching the trailer again, I think it was pretty fun. It's basically, like, it reminds me of Xenoblade a little bit, where it's basically, like, it's just a 3D, like, game where you have to just beat the shit out of stuff. You, you, I'll put footage in somewhere, I'm sure. But, I think it looks pretty fun. You can play as past Final Fantasy games. Like, I, you can play as Cloud. Uh, I think Zidane is in there. I, I'm just spelling that wrong. Uh, I think Cecil is in the game. I hope, is it Cecil? I don't know. I hope Cecil's in the game. I know Terra is definitely in it. And, of course, Cloud, uh... And, like I said earlier, I may say so, I don't even know if I did. Lightning's in the game, I, I don't like Lightning, never have. 13 sucks, just saying. Uh, but it looks really fun. I actually might give that a shot. I think they said there's online for it, so I'll definitely get that and have to play it with people, because I like Final Fantasy. The game looks pretty fun. Even though I'm not a big fan of the chibi-looking art style, I think it looks pretty neat. Up next is a game I'm actually... I'm pretty hyped for it, and I'm, it's shocking, because I'm not really a big fan of the series, even though I've been playing uh, Awakening, and it's Fire Emblem Fates. The game still looks really good. Of course, they talked about like, the differences between uh, Birthright and Quan Quan bleh, Conquest, and they pretty much announced, like, if you buy either one on the eShop, you can get the other one for, like, half price, and the, what they're saying, they're two different games, I... When Nintendo says, I never know really because they're like, oh, Pokemon Red and Blue are totally different, and they're literally the same thing, just a few different Pokemon. So I'll probably, like, I'm gonna get Birthright, that's a guarantee, because I've been playing Awakening and I love it, I need to beat it, but I'll probably get Birthright, and I'll probably try Conquest, or what I'll probably do, I'll probably get Birthright, because I know Nintendo, they like to do codes for stuff like this. I'll probably just give Conquest to my brother, and if you get both, you get uh, Revelations, which apparently that's like a, either it's I don't know if that's actually, because I didn't really explain this too well. I don't know if it's a separate game, or if it's, like, a just, like, another, like, uh... If it's kind of like, uh, 
the Legend of Zelda like see the Oracle games where if you get seasons and uh, whatever the hell the other one is, I can't think of it. If you play both of them, you unlock like a Ganon boss fight. I wonder if it's gonna be like that, where you kind of get like a, your own kind of like you get a new map or a story or something. I'm interested in that. I know Japan already has these games, but I really want them. Comes out February. I think they said 19. I might be wrong on that. I'll definitely give that a shot, but I gotta beat Awakening first one day. Uh, but yeah, if you like Fire Emblem, I definitely give it a shot because Awakening's a great game. I'm sure that I've heard this game's really good too. Up next is Mega Man Legacy Collection for 3DS. Here's a big problem, and this is with Nintendo in general nowadays. With the Amiibo thing, at least. Mega Man Legacy Collection, for me, I don't see a point in buying it. Because, one, you can buy all these... Okay, if you don't know, Mega Man Legacy Collection has Mega Man 1 through 6. You can buy all Mega Man 1 through 6 on the eShop for cheaper. And, if you want Mega Man 1 through 6, 7, and 8, you can buy the Mega Man Collection, or Classic Collection on PS2 and GameCube. Mostly, mostly PS2, because I think it's like 12 to $15 on Amazon. Do that instead. Even though Mega Man 8 on there does have a delay with a little bit. But, like, with movement, I mean. Or input lag, whatever. Same thing. It's like a fighting game. Uh, but, buy that. And here's, like, with the Amiibo thing, they announced, oh, the, uh, we'll have Amiibos working for this. And it'll be regular Mega Man, which I do own. And Golden Mega Man. Are you shitting me? Like, where in the call? Uh, well, when I was in the call, Philip Richie and all them. Oh, the first, because I was a little bit ahead, and I wish I would have recorded the reaction just for something later. All you would hear when that fucking Golden Mega Man chat was, Are you fucking shitting me? And that was me yelling, because it pissed me off so much. I'm like, what is... Because Meg, the Golden Mega Man, you can only get with Mega Man Legacy Collection. And that's fucking bullshit. One, I don't really care it's Gold Mangas, I'm not gonna buy it. But, they know, excuse me, they know people fucking love these things, or, like, into collecting them, and we'll get this, but only for that amiibo. And it's smart from a business strategy, but why should I buy a Golden Mega Man amiibo for Mega Man Legacy Collection when I already own these games, and I can find them for cheaper? There's no reason to buy this. Especially because you can actually buy this on PS4. I think on Xbox One as well already. So what is the point? There is none. It's ridiculous that they're going to do this. Because just what's the point? Like seriously. What is the point in buying this? It's a golden magma. You can legit. If you want to do this. I'll just tell you this. Here, if you're interested in the game and you want to get that. That's cool. But if you want a magma amiibo. Just go on GameStop or Walmart or Amazon. Anywhere. And buy a Mega Man amiibo. It is the exact same thing. Rant over. That just kind of really pissed me off. And I feel like I should talk about that. I'm going to get hate. Up next, I will give it this. This is kind of cool. Even though when I was in the call, Richie brought this up. And it's a good point. Why hasn't this happened already? And that's that Pokemon Red, uh, Blue, Yellow. And for Japan, Red, Blue, Yellow, Green are coming to the eShop. It's about fucking time. How long has the eShop been out now? Like the 3DS is what? Four years old this year? And we're just now getting Pokemon Red, Blue, or Gen 1, I'll say that. On these things? Are you joking? It took until now? Do they hate money? I'm glad they finally realized this because it's going to make a ton of money. It's Pokemon, and people love Red, Blue, and Yellow, and I'm sure they own a 3DS, or their kids own a 3DS, and they're like, Hey, this is Red, Blue, and Yellow. I used to play the crap out of this as a kid. And they'll buy it, and it's smart because it's going to make a ton of money. I do like one thing, and I will give them a lot of credit for this. The Veltrina brought this up. It's like, oh, one thing that always used to, used to always hold people back with these games is you had to always have a link cable, which nobody fucking owned, by the way. Oh, I didn't until I got a Game Boy Advance, but... Uh... What was I gonna say? Uh, basically, they're making it now where you can just do online trade. And then either it's local online trade. I think it's online trade in general. Which is good, because it's gonna make getting the national... Oh, national tax. They didn't have a national tax in general. Well, uh, making... It easier to get all the Pokemon in Gen 1, which I do like. However, I'm going to say this here. If you're like me, and you don't want to pay for it, you can always go on the internet, the most magic place in the world. Search in Pokemon... Fought, or no, Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring stuff later on, too. Search in Pokemon Red or Yellow. But I'll get Yellow, because it's a better version. And just to emulator and download that for free and you can still trade or you can just hack pokemon into it but you know 
Uh, which is neat. I will give that. It is good they're finally putting these on here because people are going to be excited. But, I'm just say this here. If it does well, you better put the DS games on the Wii U eShop. Because, damn it, I want to LP Soul Silver. That is the worst reasoning ever, I know. But I want to LP Soul Silver and Platinum and Black and White 1, Black and White 2, and so on. Because I love Black and White 1. 2 or it's good as well. And Soul Silver is like the best thing ever. It is like legit. It is the shit. It is like the peanut butter to my jelly, if that makes sense. Even though I don't like peanut butter. But that's besides the point. It's still, I'm hyped for that they're going to actually start doing this. I mean, Gen 1 is pretty mixed. But I do, this brings up a good question I was thinking about. Even my brother brought this up too, and I was like, that's actually true. Why not put Fire and Leaf Green on there? And I thought about this. One, because they might put Fire and Leaf Green on the eShop, because they are putting Game Boy Advance games on there. It's, just good, it's a good idea. But they're, they're the better version. But they're probably just putting Red and Blue on there just to make more money. I do think they're going to put, uh, blue, not blue, <laughs> they are putting blue on there. I think they're going to put, uh, gold, silver, and crystal on there, too, because, oh, I think that'd be so cool. I legit, I mean, I already own silver and own soul silver, but I would actually buy crystal because I never got to play crystal. You know, I could play it on emulator, but that's besides the point. It's called I Want to Support It because I want black and white one on the eShop because I love, and I do mean love, black and white one and soul silver, like I keep saying, but. Yeah, that, that's cool. If you like Pokemon, or you're a Gen 1 or you just like Gen 1 in general, whatever, give it a shot, because why not? Uh, up next was Hyrule Warriors Legends. A lot of people are super pissed about this, and I don't get why. No, oh, okay, I'll get into why I'm going to say this. Basically, they're like, oh, Hyrule Warriors Legends comes out, I think, like, in March or something. I don't really care. I already own Hyrule Warriors to begin with on Wii U, but... And it still is a big, pretty pointless port. And people are going to be like, oh, because there's DLC on it, super, you should buy it. And I'm like, eh, just, but like, just have it as DLC for the Wii U version. A lot, makes a lot more sense. But, uh, basically, they announced a female Link, known as Linkle, a dumb name, I know. But, uh, people are fucking up in arms about this, because, oh, there's a female Link. Uh, a really bad voice, I know. But... What's the point? It's a fucking female Link. Who cares? It's just Link wearing a skirt. And that's literally Link. He wears a skirt only, except, well, he has pigtails now, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Like, why? It's, it's these all SG, SJW people are fucking pissed because there's a girl Link. It is not a big deal. It is going to play just like Hyrule Wars. And be fair, Link, will, at least combat-wise, him, looks awesome. She looks so badass. And if I act, well... If my brother gets Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors Legends, which hopefully he will just so I can get the DLC from it, I'm going to play the shit out of it, because I want Linkle, because I think she looks cool. It, it, like, it's mixed. Some people like Linkle, and there's already a little 34 of it, and it's the internet, and they she's super cute and stuff, and I'm like, eh, I don't care. And there's people who hate it. I just don't see a point. But Linkle looks pretty badass. I will give it that. And if they possibly, which I think they're going to actually make it DLC, uh, I will definitely give it a shot, because... It, she looks cool, and I'll, I don't know. I think it looks fun. I still don't really see a reason to buy Hard Warriors Legends unless you don't own a Wii U. If you, even then, I still think it looks kind of pissy poor. Pissy poor, that's a new one. But, I don't know. It just doesn't really catch my interest, to be honest with you here. I'll just play Hard Warriors on the Wii U. Um, besides that, up next, they're going to announce that Dragon Quest Seven and Dragon Quest Eight are getting um, finally localized to 3DS and North America in general. It's cool. I've never played a Dragon Quest game before. So, I might, I've i always heard 7 and 8 are probably the best ones. I might give 8 a shot, just to actually see because I like bunch, I like RPGs. And I've been a bit of an RPG hinge at the moment. Mostly because I need to start playing. I need to finish Awakening and play Fallout 3 and New Vegas and 4. Whatever. That's not the point. Um, but, I would definitely... If you like Dragon Quest, that's really cool that they're bringing it over. And I'm happy for the fans for that. I'll make sure to give it a shot. Mostly because I, I like it and I think it looks cool. I uh, there's a game called Hive Jump. I don't even remember what that was, to be completely honest with you here. I am... I, I'm i going to skip over there because I don't even know. That's really pathetic. I'm sorry. Uh, they showed Mighty Number no. 9. It's Mighty Number no. 9. It. I'm still pissy about that. Uh, if you really care, my Twitter rants. They're, they're something, I guess. I'm going to do it anyway. Mighty Number no. 9 looks terrible. $4 million wasted on that game. Good thing I never supported it on Kickstarter. Never will support Kickstarter, but whatever. It looks 
really, really crappy, I think. If you think it looks fun, it's cool, but uh, it's stupid. I'm sorry. Um, Lego Marvel Avengers. Why is that? Oh, yeah, that got shown. They're making a Marvel Avengers game with Legos. I don't see a point in buying that, to be honest with you, because there's already Lego Marvel superheroes, which I do want to play. You know, I've never, like, I've played a few Lego games, and they're pretty fun, but I like Marvel. I, do I see myself buying the Avengers game? Probably not. But I'll probably get more superheroes because it's cheaper and, you know, stuff. Um, up next is Project X Zone 2. Never played the first one from what I've heard. The first one's kind of hard to get into. Uh, it has Fire Emblem and Xenoblade characters, so if you like that, that's cool. It didn't catch my interest. I don't even know if they announced the release date. I was that bored by it. Um, they show Terraria. It's, ter it's, it's Terraria. I think everybody knows what Terraria is. It's cool. I still need to play it, but Terraria. And here's where I'm probably going to talk for, like, Let's see. What time are we at? We are at 30 minutes. Let me see how long I can talk about this next thing. So we see Red. He's like, oh, that's about all we got for today. But last thing, there's a trailer that's about to emerge. And, it, like, that was my big thing. I was hyped for I was like, we're going to get a Smash there. It's going to be awesome. I was like, we're probably going to get a DLC character. And I was thinking all week, I was like, because there's a, there's an article... I saw, it was like, a guy from Nintendo, this actually isn't confirmed, but we, I'd say it was, after we got announced, um, where he announced, or he said that the next Smash DLC character will be a newcomer, will be a third party, and he's gonna have a big presence, like, he's gonna make, like, the internet explode, and motherfucker, he was right with what I'm about to say. Basically, Reggie shows up, it's like, oh, we have a new Smash character coming, and... It cuts to black, then we see stars, and then we start hearing some very familiar music from a Sony game. And, oh, like, when I started hearing, like, oh, I saw the stars, I was like, is this Wolf? I'm like, are you shitting me? Like, we're getting Wolf? That's your big reveal? And then Richie goes, dude, this sounds like some Final Fantasy music. And I was like, you're right, it sounds like music from Final Fantasy VII. And then it cuts down, and you see a sword, and it's Mother... Fucking well, you know what? Actually, let me go back. It shows a sword, I'm pretty sure, and then it shows the logo, Final Fantasy V11. And guess I'm not getting Roman because I didn't know what it was. And then you see the fucking meteor logo from fucking Final Fantasy VII, and then motherfucking cloud. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Was in Final Fantasy VII. I listen. I mean, I'm a loud person. I will fully admit this. But yesterday when that got announced, all you could hear in the Skype call was five people yelling. And I mean, I get really excited as a sailor. I got my headset. I mean, I've thrown that motherfucker back. I jumped up so hard. I love Final... Like, I would say, I love Final Fantasy. I like Final Fantasy 7. Is the best Final Fantasy game? No, 6. It's better. But, oh my god. All the jokes people have made about Cloud, Goku, Master Chief being in Smash and then Cloud gets into Smash. That... It made the internet explode, like, yesterday on Twitter, all I retweeted was fucking cloud pictures. Well, that, and if you go on Twitter, I'm just saying. Uh, it shows, like, there's a tweet that goes, HOLY SHIT, IT'S CLOUD! I'll next mention but I'm going to screen for that. But, holy fuck, no one thought cloud was going to get announced. No one saw that coming! And, I'm just going to, I'll get to this later on, but they can't top this, ever. But Cloud looks badass as fuck. He has Midgar for a stage. I really hope he has the Sephiroth theme as, like, one of the stage themes. Because I really want to have uh, Kirby fight uh, Duck Hunt Dog. Because it'd be stupid, but it'd be amazing. Because like, the Sephiroth theme makes everything epic. But he looks badass. Uh, all of his moves look awesome. He has a limit, which I, I'm questioning how that's going to work. Uh, is his limit going to work like Little Max? Uh, like... Knockout punch, or what is it gonna be like? I'm really interested in how that's gonna work. Uh, I do, I'm just, I'm so hyped because I never, I, I always have wondered, like, what would a Final Fantasy character be like in Smash? And we're getting Cloud. And people, I know we're gonna get, like, probably something like, oh, it doesn't make sense. And it, to be honest with you, it makes no fucking sense to have him in, but it's still super hype. And I'm not gonna complain. I like Final Fantasy 7, I like Final Fantasy, I like Smash Bros. I always feel like we should get a representation in the game, and it is making sense, but I don't give a fuck. It looks awesome, and I'm definitely gonna try Cloud out. 
So far, we do know for costume wise, he is gonna have his seven costume and his Advent Children costume. A lot of people hate the set or the Advent Children costume. I personally like it. His sword is better as the regular version, but besides the like the door knocker thing, I like the Advent Children costume, and I'll probably actually use the Advent Children costume. But it looks really cool. Of course, his final smash is Omni Slash. Looks really awesome. I, I'm just hyped. I'm, I'm shocked they didn't show him using Materia. That really got me. But besides that, it was amazing. The internet exploded last night because no one saw it coming. I had an energy high all day from that. Like, I didn't sleep at all last night because I was like, dude, Cloud is in fucking Smash Bros. That's an, Like, even my brother, who is, like, he likes Smash. Like, I would say he probably loves Smash, but he's not a big Nintendo person. He's more of an Xbox guy. Even he was like, holy shit, dude. Cloud is in Smash Brothers. Holy fuck. And I'm still amazed. Like, t right now, it's been a day. And I'm like, dude, that is fucking awesome. But he looks so fun. And he looks like he's really powerful. The only thing, because he's going to have a disadvantage. Because he looks like uh, if you put Little Mac and Shulk together, I think. Maybe even Ike and Little Mac, I'd say. But, actually, you know what? I'll say... Actually, I'll say a combination. He looks like Little Mac, Ike, and Shulk put together. And I'm wondering how he's going to play. Like, is what's going to be the bad thing? Like, I'm guessing his recovery is going to be really shit. But I don't know. Like, I'm still, like, I don't, I'm speechless. It's been a day since this guy got announced for Smash, and I am still speechless. Like, how can Nintendo legit raise the bar from this? Because I said this, when last, when not last year, when Mega Man got announced, I was like, they can't top that. Well, okay, when Sonic got announced, they can't top that. Mega Man got announced. They can't top Mega Man. Then they announced Pac-Man. I'm like, dude, they can't top that. And then they announced, uh, fucking Cloud. And I'm like, oh no, then they announced Ryu. And then they announced Cloud. And I'm like, dude, they can't. And the thing is, we're getting another, like, a Smash Direct in December. And they said Cloud is just a teaser. A mother fucking teaser. There is no way they can top that. Like, I, the only way I could see them it is somehow if they got Crash, and I don't see that happening. But here's the thing. No one thought Cloud was gonna be in Smash Brothers. Because it didn't make sense, because he's a Sony, well, he's just going here, but he's always been on, like, PlayStation. Besides, like, Kingdom Hearts and Snake Game, but... You know... After Cloud gets in, legit anything is possible for Smash Bros. I hate saying this, and it's a joke, but Goku technically can be in Smash now. <laughs> and that, that scares me. But I don't give a fuck. Cloud, I love... Cloud's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just hyped. His down A looks like... Uh, or his spike looks like Link's, which I like. But I'm... I, see... It's sad when I'm so hyped up when I can't even talk about something. Like, no one's like, what is the fuck? Like, here's the thing. We brought this up in a Skype call yesterday, but what the fuck is up with this year? We are getting Shenmue 3, The Last Guardian, Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and Cloud and Smash Bros. All in one year. What the fuck is happening? Is the world about to explode? Like, it's amazing. Like, what is up with this year, dude? Like... I, I just, I don't know. It's super hyper. A lot of people think we're gonna get Final Fantasy VII Remake on the NX. That's definitely a possibility now. I could see that, because it make a lot of... Well, see, I'd say that, but someone brought up that yesterday, like, oh, well, Snake was in Brawl, and he didn't get a game after uh, being in Brawl on Nintendo console. Well, besides, like, the 3 port on 3DS, but I hear that port's not that good. But, I don't know. Like, I am super hyped up. His stage looks really fun. Of course, you get Final Fantasy summons and stuff on there. And... Dude, it just, it looks awesome, and I am so hyped for it, like, that stage. Like, I, I'm, I'm betting, but since they're having that direct in December, they're probably gonna say that Cloud gets, is gonna get released in December, it makes sense, because it's right, it'd probably be, like, right before Christmas, well, December is, like, the month for Christmas. People want Cloud for Smash, well, they want Smash Wii for Cloud, because there's some diehard Final Fantasy fans out there, and people want Cloud. I'm gonna go, legit, after I record this, I'm gonna go buy an eShop card, just to put it on my Wii U eShop, just so, when Cloud gets announced to come out, I can get him that day. The f let me say this. The fucking eShop is going to die. Because it died when, um... Ryu, Roy, and Lucas got released for the on the game. For fucking Cloud, it's gonna die. Like, I won't be able to go on the eShop for weeks. 
funny thing is also, I forgot to mention for Pokemon, they're making now where you can pre-order Pokemon, the, like, the games on the eShop, which is kind of dumb. But, they better, like, if they're smart, I really hope they are, they should make a pre-order thing for Cloud. Because the eShop will die. There is no possible way the eShop won't die. Like, I think when Ryu, Roy, and Lucas came out on, um, uh, what is it, um, Smash 4 for DLC, the eShop did die in, I think, like, a minute. With Cloud, it's gonna die in 20 seconds, if not 10. Because people, like, my plan is that day to be on the eShop the entire time, and the moment it fucking loads Cloud, I am going to get him and play it, because it's so hyped. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. I have rambled on about this thing for 10 minutes. I knew it was gonna happen. I'm gonna shut up and end the video, but I'll, I'll leave my final thoughts over the Direct in general. The Direct? I think they put a lot too much hype into it because a lot of it really kind of bothered me. Like, it wasn't nothing really... I know they said they were going to announce anything like Super Big with the Dinner Squad, but they're mostly going to talk about stuff coming out in the spring, and not a lot really caught my attention besides... I mean, look at all the stuff I got in here. Um, <laughs> Xenoblade, uh, Fast Racing Neo, Pokemon Pokin Tournament, Star Fox, and Fire Emblem, well, and Cloud, but uh, that's it. Like... A lot of it really made me mad with the Twilight Princess HD and the Amiibo stuff and, uh... I did, 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 what was I going to bring up? Uh, the Nintendo Badge Arcade and Pokemon Pit Cross and... Uh, oh, Final Fantasy Wars. I was going to mention that. That looks really good, too. But a lot of it just really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And it kind of showed the problem with Nintendo these days is they're so focused on these Amiibos and they don't want to move up. And I hate to say that, but I can't really give this direct an amazingly good grade. I would say it was... A lot of it was really impressive and it was hype based, but I would give it an okay at best. Because uh, not a lot, like, it's an opinion thing, that's what you have to make though. Is because all this thing got my attention, I have to give it an okay at best. But I know some people thought it was amazing and that's cool. But for me, it just didn't catch my attention. A lot of the, there are some games in there who will definitely get my attention and will definitely get a buy from me. But it's just, it's cool. Also, because I'm watching the video of Cloud Trailer again, I do like one thing. They brought up, there's some dialogue in Final Fantasy VII where Cloud's like, oh, I get sick on a boat. There's a point in the trailer where, he, where Cloud's in the, uh, the pirate stage from Wind Waker, and he's riding on the King of Red Lines, and he's all dizzy. That's a very nice touch. It's the only thing I like about Smash Bros. and Sakura in general, is they always do stuff like that. But, I don't know, it's really, really cool, and I'm very hyped for Cloud. And, the Direct, I'll give it an okay. Nothing amazing. But nothing that super pissed me off and turned me away. So, what did you guys think of the Direct? Are you hyped for Cloud as much as I am? Because I'm super hyped. Who do you think they can bring into Smash 4 next month to top Cloud? I know if Philip puts something, he's going to be like, Oh, my Rayman mate! But, it's not. Like, Rayman could be in, but it's not going to be Cloud, I'm just saying. Uh, Crash, Crash Bandicoot, I mean, is the only character that can beat Cloud. I'm just saying that here. It would be the 90s fighting all in one. Because you'd have Mario, Sonic, Crash, Cloud, Ryu, and Mega Man all fighting. Oh, and Pac-Man, I guess, too. But it'd be awesome. And I, I'm i still speechless after that Cloud trailer. And I, I've watched it 25 times. And that's no joke. I've watched it 25 fucking times. I need a life. But I've been my Savannah. Y'all been awesome. Once again, what you think of the direct? And I'll see you guys another time for another video. Later, guys.